Welcome back. So, you know, at the top of the show, Natalie, we were talking about Halloween frights. You know what scares me? You know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Math. <laughs> so uh, Carly DeRoji, one of our, our contributors, I love her because she's giving us some homeschool hacks. And we're going to end this uh, the show today with a great one for math, which, again, parents are a little frightful of these days. But check this out. Hi, friends. Yes, I am back today to teach you another math trick, this time focusing on the multiplication of facts using nines. This is one of my favorite math tricks that will really help your child think through the multiplication of their nines tables. So here's how it works. Grab a piece of paper, have your child write down all of their facts, starting with nine times one, all the way to nine times nine. Then you're going to fill them in on our first trick. When you multiply nine times a number or a number times nine, the first digit in your answer will always be a number one smaller than the number that is being multiplied by nine. Sounds a little confusing when I say it, not confusing when you see it. So let's watch this. Nine times one. So we're going to do a line for each digit in our answer. And if we're figuring out nine times one, I know the first digit will be a number that's one smaller than one. One less than one is zero. Nine times two. One less than two is one. Nine times three. One less than three is two. One less than four is three. Hopefully your child starts to see a pattern. The first digit, when we multiply by nines, will always be one smaller than the number you're multiplying nine by. So have them continue going all the way down. Fill everything in and then take a look at this pattern and talk about why this helps you. If you're really stuck on a problem and it's nine times something or something times nine, you can eliminate a lot of choices for your answers. You know that nine, nine times four will be 30 something. You know that nine times six will be 50 something. So it gives you a more narrowed focus on what the answer might be and eliminates a whole lot of choices. It also helps students check their work. So if they're doing multiplication facts and they come up with an answer, they can check knowing that I should see the first digit being one less than the number that I'm multiplying by nine. Now combine this with my next tip and you have this all figured out. When we're multiplying by nine, the two digits in the answer added together make a total of nine. How cool is that? So what number goes with zero to make a total of nine? Nine. What number goes with one to make a total of nine if I'm adding them together? Your child should know if, they're, if they've reached multiplication, they should know their addition facts. They should know eight plus one is nine. So once I put the eight there, I know nine times two is 18. What number goes with two to make nine? Oh, seven and two makes nine. So nine times three is 27. We can continue doing this all the way down. And your child will also hopefully begin to see a pattern here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And then nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. I love this trick because it helps our children know with more automaticity the answers to their nines facts, but also helps them check their work. So when they're figuring out nine times four, if they get 32, They'll know that it's not right because they know three plus two is not nine. So they're using addition when they get their answer to figure out if their multiplication problem is right. I love having our kids look for patterns in numbers, figuring out their own tricks, and then using these tricks when they get stuck on a problem. Teach your child these two. They will thank you. For more teaching tips, you can head to my Instagram at hello capital M or to my website, hello capital M.com.